Good morning. Happy Father's Day and Grandpa's Day to all of you. And uh, it's, it's nice to see uh, Mike's and mine extended family here. And so, uh, just so you know, we broadcast all our services on Zoom, as well as live here. And a recording of this service can also be found on YouTube. I'd also like to celebrate the fact that live music is finally back in St. Andrews. And for a prelude, I'd like to sing a song I wrote a few years ago about our music at St. Andrews.
Bless the name that charms our fears and bids our sorrow cease. Tis music in the sinner's ears, tis life and help. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, us pray. O oh Lord, make us have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name, for you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. David said to Saul, let no one's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Saul said to David, you are not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for you are just a boy, and he has been a warrior from his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant used to keep sheep for his father. And whenever a lion or a bear came and took a lion, a lamb from the flock, I went after it and struck it down, rescuing the lamb from its mouth. And if it turned against me, I would catch it by the jaw, strike it down and kill it. Your servant has killed both lions and bears, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be like one of them, since he has defied the armies of the living God. David said, the Lord who saved me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will save me from the hand of this Philistine. So Saul said to David, go and may the Lord be with you. Saul clothed David with his armor. He put a bronze helmet on his head and clothed him with a coat of mail. David strapped Saul's sword over the armor and he tried in vain to walk for he was not used to them. Then David said to Saul, I cannot walk with these, for I am, I am not used to them. So David removed them, and then he took his staff in his hand and chose five smooth stones from the wadi and put them in his shepherd's bag in the pouch. His sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. 
The Philistine came on and drew near to David with his shield bearer in front of him. When the Philistine looked and saw David, he disdained him, for he was only a youth, ruddy and handsome in appearance. The Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. The Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and to the wild animals of the field. But David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts and the God of armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This very day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you down and cut off your head, and I will give the dead bodies of this Philistine army the very day to your birds of the air and to the wild animals of the earth, so that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel, and that all this assembly may know that the Lord does not save by sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's and he will give you into our hand. When the Philistine drew nearer to David, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet the Philistine. David put his hand in his bag, took a stone, slung it, and struck the Philistine on his forehead. The stone sank into his forehead, and he fell down on the ground. The word of the Lord. Yes. Let us all read together Psalm 9. The Lord will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble. Those who knew your name will put their trust in you, for you never forsake those who seek you, O Lord. Sing praise to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Proclaim to the peoples the things he has done. The avenger of blood will remember them. He will not forget the cry of the afflicted. Have pity on me, O Lord. See the misery I suffer from those who hate me. O oh, you who lift me from the gate of death, so that I may tell of all your praises and rejoice in your salvation in the gates of the city of Zion. The ungodly have fallen into the pit they dug, and in the snare they set is their own foot caught. The Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are trapped in the words of their own hands. The wicked shall be given over to the grave, and also the peoples that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Rise up, O Lord, let not the ungodly have the upper hand. Let them be judged before you. Put fear upon them, O Lord. Let the ungodly know that they are but mortal. A reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. As we work together with Christ, we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain. For he says, at an acceptable time I have listened to you, and on the day of salvation I have helped you. See, now is the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. We are putting no obstacle in anyone's way so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we have commended ourselves in every way through great endurance in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, <coughs> kindness, holiness of spirit, genuine love, truthful speech and the power of God with the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left in honor and dishonor, in ill repute and good repute. We are trusted as impostors and yet are true as unknown and yet are well known as dying and see we are alive as punished yet not killed as sorrowful yet always rejoicing as poor yet making rich, as having nothing, yet possessing everything. We have spoken frankly to you, Corinthians. Our heart is wide open to you. There is no restriction in our affections, but only in yours. 
In return, I speak to, as to children, open wide your hearts also. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to them, let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with them. A great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? The Gospel the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto you, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Amen. Amen. A photograph taken shortly after Hurricane Katrina struck New Orleans in 2005 shows the devastation of a cemetery in the city's historic district. Trees are toppled. Debris covers the ground. And several burial vaults had been broken and smashed. But in the middle of the devastation, untouched by the storm, stands a statue of the risen Christ, arms extended wide, offering a benediction of calm amid the chaos. This is the image conveyed by the text we have today, the image of Christ with his arms extended wide over the chaos of our lives and the world, saying, peace, be still. So as Christians, we've heard all these texts before. Over and over, we've heard the story of Jesus calming the waves that greet him and his disciples as they sail for a foreign shore. Since we were children, we've heard the story of God helping David to defeat Goliath. We've heard other similar stories, those of a small army of Israelites being able to defeat great armies. 
and we'd heard those of Jesus casting out de legions of demons who'd taken over the lives of people. So we've heard all these stories that illustrate in many ways that God is with us and that God delivers us and that God brings calm out of the chaos. Yet we still let fear paralyze us sometimes. In fact, we let fear paralyze us often. Sometimes we know that we should step out in faith to do something, but we don't do it. Maybe it's because we're afraid we'll fail or we're scared to death that we're gonna get laughed at, or maybe we're worried we'll succeed, but then everything we know will change. Or we're in a tough situation, we feel hopeless, and that hopelessness leads us into anxiety and depression. For example, God might be urging us to make that phone call to someone we used to be friends with, but something happened and now we're not friends. Something in us wants to make that call to put things right, but fear holds us back and we don't do it. Or another example, God might be urging us to try a new ministry, but we're not sure we can accomplish it. It's different. We've never done it before. If it goes wrong, we'll feel stupid. Or maybe the new ministry goes right. Then we're stuck with life in a new way and we're not sure we're ready for that. Or, as another example, we're experiencing a rough patch. Perhaps we've lost a loved one or several loved ones. Or we've lost our home or our jobs. Or we found out we have a debilitating, difficult, or potentially fatal disease. We know we need to move forward in faith, but we just can't. We're depressed, anxious, afraid, and traumatized. When we're in these situations, sometimes we struggle with trusting God completely. We struggle even though we've heard these stories of deliverance many times before. We believe the Bible stories we read, sort of, because when the going gets tough, maybe we're not so sure. Why can't we let go and let God? Why can't we feel safe in the assurance that God is with us, protecting us, delivering us, and calming the chaos? Perhaps it's because we feel that everything depends upon us, and we know that our resources are limited. Maybe we're afraid that everything will fall apart if we don't hold on and control everything really, really tightly. For many of us, the belief that everything depends on us and we have to manage everything is ingrained since childhood. Maybe we were the oldest child and we took care of our brothers and sisters. And when they got hurt, we got blamed. Or perhaps we experienced betrayal or disappointment from families or friends. And we figured the best way to avoid betrayal or disappointment again is just to never rely on anybody else but ourselves. I invite us to work on trusting God more. I invite us to turn over some of our fears to God and not take them back again. In other words, turn your fears over to God and don't worry about them anymore. I invite us to write down all the times when God came through for us and keep that list in a safe place to encourage us when we need it. Because I'll guarantee that God has been with us more often than we've realized. And if we think about it, we'll realize it. Some of you may have read or heard of John Bunyan's classic allegory, The Pilgrim's Progress. In it, the main character, Christian, is a model of a person struggling to live a life of faith. As he nears the end of his journey, he must cross a fearsome river and he's afraid. He wades into the waters with his friend, who's another character called Hopeful. Once in the water, Christian cries out, I sink in deep waters, the billows go over my head and all his waves over me. Hopeful replies, 
Be of good cheer, my brother. I feel the bottom, and it is good. God can deliver us in all these situations. God can bring calm out of chaos. God can help us accomplish what we need to do, whether it's defeating some giant evil, surviving a chaos or storm, or moving our relationships and ministries to a new level or place. We can trust God. Whatever God has in store for us, ultimately, it is good. Amen. Please rise and join with me in affirming our faith through the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people. With all our heart and with all our minds, let us pray to the Lord saying, Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, for the loving kindness of God, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the peace of the world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, and for the unity of all peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For our presiding bishop, Michael, our bishop, Sean, our priest, Randy, our deacon, Martha, and our deanery prayer partner, St. Mark's, North Tonawanda. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For our president, for the leaders of the nations, and for all in authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the town of New Fame, for every city and community, and for those who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the good earth which God has given us, and for the wisdom and will to conserve it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For those who travel on land, on water, or in the air, or through outer space, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the aged and infirm, for the widows and orphans, for the sick and the suffering, especially Jason Balk, Philip Branch, Crystal Branch, Charlie Branch, Joe Breska Sr., Rich Eggert, Peggy Heiss, Laura Hubbard, Marsha Johnson, Margaret Moran, Ed Reeb, Pam Reed, Summit Roy, Jessica Sherry, Bonnie Winterstein, Armin, Dean, Jamie, Nick, Pam, Shirley, and any that you now name. 
and the people on our long-term prayer list, which we will read as the table is set. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are serving in the military, especially Garrett Adelizio, Vincent Adelizio, Matthew Chesty, James Clark, Joseph DePew, Hannah Federico, Ryan Haas, Ethan Knott, Ryan Lanahan, Peg Magritte, Jeremy Martin, Rudy Sanchez, Bryce Smith, and Mark Vogt. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, and for all who have departed, especially Walter By, Joe Donaldson, James Finley, Philip Lamachia, James S. Massey Jr., Brian McMaster, Gloria Putnam, Dick Rutland, Hannah Sam, Oscar Stein, and any that you now name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have Lord. mercy. For the deliverance from all danger, violence, oppression, and degradation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Defend us, deliver us, and in thy compassion protect us, O Lord, by thy grace. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. In the community of St. Andrews and of all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life to Christ our Lord. To thee, O Lord, Lord our God. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, not of their neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in the will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you and forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Please rise for the peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace, everyone. Peace. Peace. Who has announcements? Anyone? Perhaps Jamie? It looks like Jamie does. Maybe? I don't know. Can I have a seat, please, for the announcements? Sure, go ahead. Is it on now? Yes. We raised more than $1,000 for a dishwasher, um, and we're using money from other places to cover it. So we're going to have a new dishwasher very soon. Um, we still need letters for Evelyn. So if anybody can write a letter, that would be wonderful. Also, um, time is coming close to our chicken dinner. So Gage this morning um, packaged up some tickets of 10 and 5, 10 adults, five children, if you could just write your name that you took a pack of tickets and sell them and bring the money and the stubs back to church as soon as possible, that would be wonderful. There's also directions on the table out there um, in case you need more information um, for the people who are gonna buy your tickets. And I think that's it. You can take more than one package too, I'm sure. If you, you can take as many as you want, guys. Yes. Yes, please do. There is a staff and um, a, a ministry team leaders meeting this uh, week on Tuesday at 5.30 on Zoom. So if um, anyone's involved in that, please remember that. And also today is Father's Day. 
Is it turned off? I think so. It's not easy to get to, sorry. I'll go to this one, it's easier. Since today is Father's Day, I will read the Father's Day prayer, so the Lord be with you. On this Father's Day, we give thanks to God for the divine gift of fatherhood in all its diverse forms. Let us pray for all the fathers among us today, for our own fathers, those living and those who have passed away, for the fathers who loved us, for all who hope to be fathers someday, for all fathers who have lost children, for all men who have fathered others in any way, <clears throat> those who have been our substitute fathers, and we who have done so for those in need. We pray this all in the name of God, our great and loving Father. Amen. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself an offering and sacrifice to God. Just lead me, Lord, and I will follow. Show me the way, and I'll be there. Just teach me, Lord, and I will listen. I'm not standing alone because you are there. Just keep me, Lord, you know I love you. Please lead me, Lord, and hear my Please lead me, Lord, and hear my prayer. Sometimes you gotta let go. Sometimes you have to hold on tight. I just need to know that you will show me the light. I need you now, Lord. Just lead me, Lord, and I will follow. Show me the way and I'll be there. Just teach me. I'm not standing alone because you are there. Just keep me, Lord, you know I love you. Please lead me, Lord, then hear my Please lead me, Lord, and hear my prayer. Please lead me, Lord, and hear my prayer. Please lead me, Lord, and hear my prayer. 
before we start the Eucharistic prayer, my mic is on, so I don't know what the issue is. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. God of all power, ruler of the universe, you are worthy of glory and praise. Glory to you forever and ever. At your command, all things came to be. The vast expanse of interstellar space, galaxies, suns, the planets in their courses, and this fragile earth, our island home. Your will, they were created and have their being. From the primal elements, you brought forth the human race and blessed us with memory, reason, and skill. You made us the rulers of creation, but we turned against you and betrayed your trust, and we turned against one another. Have mercy, Lord, for we are sinners in your sight. Again and again, you called us to return. Through prophets and sages, you revealed your righteous law, and in the fullness of time, you sent your only son, born of a woman, to fulfill your law, to open for us the way of freedom and peace. By his blood, he reconciled us, by his wounds we are here. Therefore, we praise you, joining with the heavenly chorus, with prophets, apostles, and martyrs, with all those in every generation who have looked to you in hope to proclaim with them your glory in their unending Father, we who have been redeemed by him, made a new people by water and the Spirit, now bring before you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his friends, and said, Take eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, gave thanks, said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering now his work of redemption and offering to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving. We celebrate his death and resurrection as we await the day of his coming. Lord God of our fathers and mothers, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of Sarah, Rebecca, Leah, and Rachel, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, open our eyes to see your hand at work in the world about us. Deliver us from the presumption of coming to this table for solace only and not for strength, for pardon only and not for renewal. Let the grace of this holy communion make us one body, one spirit in Christ, that we may worthily serve the world in his name. Risen Lord, be known to us in the breaking of the bread. Accept these prayers and praise his Father through Jesus Christ, our great high priest, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, your church gives honor, glory, and worship from generation to generation. Amen. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. By the Christ, the word of heaven, blood of Christ, the cup of salvation.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit be with you this day and every day. Amen. Amen.